Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say a customary blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai El Hinu, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to regard ourselves with the words of the Torah. Please, Adonai El Hinu, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths, and the mouths of all your people is your may we know our spring, your offspring, and your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and your Torah for sake, fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Acts 3, 12 through 15. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people. Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us? As though by our own power or piety, we have made him walk. The Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Isaac, and the Elohim of Jacob, the Elohim of our fathers, glorified his servants, Yeshua, whom you delivered over and denied in the presence of Pilate, when he had decided to release him. But you denied, you denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and you killed the author of life. When Elohim raised the dead to this, we are a witness. When, uh, Acts 5, 27-32 When they had brought them, they set them before the cattle, and the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charge you not to teach in this name, yet here you have f f filled Jerusalem with your teaching. And you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey Elohim rather than men. The Elohim of our fathers raised Yeshua, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. Elohim exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things. And so it is the, the Holy Spirit whom Elohim has given to those who obey him. Acts seven thirteen through 36 But as the time of the promise drew near, which Elohim had granted to Abraham, the people increased and multiplied in Egypt, until they arose over Egypt, another king who did not know Joseph. He dwelt truly with our race, and forced our fathers to expose their infants so that they would not be kept alive. At this time Moses was born, and he was beautiful in Elohim's sight, and he was brought up from, for three months in his father's house. And when he was exposed, Pharaoh's daughter adopted him and brought him up as her own son. And Moses was in, instructed in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and he might, he was mighty in his words and deeds. When he was forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brothers, the children of Israel. And seeing one of them being wronged, he defended the oppressed man and avenged him by striking down the Egyptian. He supposed that his brothers would understand that Elohim was giving them salvation by his hand, but they did not understand. And on the following day he appeared to them as they were quarreling and tried to reconcile them, saying, Men, you are brothers, why do you wrong each other? But the man who was wronging his neighbor thrust him aside, saying, Who made you a ruler or a judge over us? Do you want to kill me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? At this retort, Moses fled and became an exile in the land of Midian, where he became the father of two sons. And when forty years had passed, an angel appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, set in a flame and a fi of fire in a bush. When Moses saw it, he was amazed at the sight. And as he drew near to look, there came a voice of the Lord, I am Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. <clears throat> and Moses trembled and did not dare to look. And the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their groaning, and I have come down to deliver them. And now come, I'll send you to Egypt. This Moses, whom they rejected, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? This man Elohim sent as both ruler and redeemer by the hand of the angel who appeared to him in the bush. This man led them out, performing wonders and signs in Egypt and at the Red Sea and in the, the wilderness for forty years. Acts twenty-two twelve through sixteen. And one and Ananias 
a devout man according to the law, well spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and standing by me said to me, Brother Saul, receive your sights. And at a very at that very hour I received my sight and saw him. And he said, The Elohim of our fathers appointed you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear a voice from his mouth. For you will be a witness to him, to everyone of what you have seen and heard. And now why do you wait? Rise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on his name. Acts 24, 14 through 16. But this I confess to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, I worship the Elohim of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law and written in the, written in the prophets, having a hope in Elohim, which these men themselves accept, and there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. So I'll we'll always take pains to have a clear conscience toward both Elohim and men. Hebrews 11, 23-26 By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden for three months by his parents because they saw that the child was beautiful and they were afraid of the king's edict. By faith, Moses, when he was growing up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of Elohim than to enjoy the fleeting pleasure of sin. He considered the reproach of Hamashiach greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt, and he was looking to the reward. Blessed art thou, Adonai, Ali, and you, King of the Universe, who gave the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah. Bukata, Adonai, Ali, and you, Malak, Alam. Asher, Natal, Anud, Emet, Vaishye, Olom, Natal, Betten, Kenyu, Brukata, Adonai, Natin, Artura.